So I'm going to be honest with you for a moment. This is my first ever 60% keyboard that I've used. I've not really avoided them. I've just never really had the chance to give them a proper trial. Now I work from home for my nine to five, which consists of a lot of typing. Now I work on the TechnoOver YouTube channel in as much of my spare time as possible. And again, that requires a lot of typing too, like this script, for example. And because of this, 60% keyboards have never really interested me as I spend as much time working as I do gaming. Unfortunately, with this in mind, my fears with 60% keyboards were confirmed. The Mountain Everest 60 gaming keyboard is an absolutely lousy option if you're going to be running it as your daily driver for work. Now, you can see quite obviously that the Everest 60 keyboard is a lot smaller than a traditional full-size keyboard. Now, it's not exactly hard to see either. After all, they have 60% of the space to play with. And if you're looking at the base, Everest 60 product, it's missing a number pad like so, though this is an, an additional extra that you can purchase, but more on that in a moment. And also the arrow keys are more akin to a laptop keyboard on the bottom right with the likes of your delete and shift either side of the up arrow. Now I must say the positioning of the utility keys, I'll call them, is quite awkward, especially if you're touch typing. It's also missing the insert, the home, and page up and down keys. And they're something I use quite a lot when working. Now it's also missing a set of F keys, which could be problematic if you're someone who plays MMORPGs. Some MOBAs rely on F keys too, if you fire off spells and talents. Now you can use FN and click a corresponding number. So FN and one is your F1 key, for example, but it's not exactly ideal if you're needing to fire off actions quickly. Saying all of this though, about how negative I found its work life experiences is actually really one of the best typing experiences I've ever had with a gaming keyboard and absolutely shines when playing games where you're likely stuck to WASD and surrounding keys. Now think your traditional or your typical FPS, Battle Royale or RPG games. Now from the audible clicks the keys make to the actuation of the key presses through to the actual really solid build quality of this keyboard, everything just feels amazing and absolutely premium. Now there's no rattle either that you often see and feel with gaming keyboards, especially those from more well-known and frontline manufacturers and their spacebar keys. The Everest 60 has a chunky base layer of silicon and there are also two layers of foam, all of which helps with the dampening of the the key presses. Now just take a listen to this. Mountain offers a variety of switches to choose from too when you come to purchase your own Everest 60. Now I've gone for linear 45 switches which offer a very smooth experience, though if you're more into your tactile switches or shorter travel distances, then you can go for another set that Mountain offer. They're tactile 55 which offer a more clicky experience and linear 45 speed switches which shortens travel distance. Being fully modular also means that the switches are hot swappable as well, as long as what you're switching to are compatible with the three and five pin Cherry MX connection. Also, keycaps are swappable too, and there are a huge number of styles available on the Mountain website. Now, mine here is a standard black, but there are white, aqua, pink, orange, gray, blue, or whatever color combination you can really think of. I mentioned earlier the number pad. This is also a fully modular piece of kit that you can choose as an add-on either when you purchase the keyboard or at a later date. The great thing about the additional keypad is the fact that it can sit on either side Side of the keyboard, there is a switch on the underside of the keypad that you can flick left and right to extend the connection. If you're a bit more of a traditionalist, you might opt for the keys to be on the right like a traditional keyboard. But do remember, you've now effectively got the chance to have a set of hotkeys right next to you where you would usually place your hand for W, A, S, and D. Now again, placement is a personal preference for your playstyle, but it's definitely a welcome feature. The Everest 60 uses a USB Type-C connection to connect to your PC, and there are three places this can go, being back left, in the back middle, or the back right. Now what I would like to speak about though is the Mountain software. It seemed reliable enough, though its interface isn't the kindest. It felt to me like it was more of a way of initially setting up your keyboard. Now for the most part, I can't see people diving back in once their macros and LED lighting is in place. It's not the friendliest software to get your head around, but it didn't cause me any issues. And the installation process was simple and it just worked. That's really as much as I can say about it. Mountain 
I think has done an absolutely superb job with their Everest 60. And if you're a keyboard enthusiast and love a modular design to customize to your heart's content, then the Everest 60 is well worth a look. As I said, it's one of the best gaming experiences that I've had with a peripheral in my time reviewing products. It's a fantastic and premium piece of kit. Now with that though, does come cost. And although it definitely fits in line with other modular and customizable keyboards on the market in terms of price, you're still paying a somewhat hefty price tag. Mountain actually sent over a European press release and at the time of writing this script, I've had to roughly convert euros to pounds and it does state that the base unit, the keyboard itself, comes in at around 120 pounds, while the additional keypad will cost another 45 pounds. A custom keycap set is another 30 pounds and switches are coming in at roughly 35 to 45, depending on how many switches you need. There are bundles though to give you some package prices, like for example, the Everest 60 and number pad, you're looking at, I would say, roughly 165 to 170 pounds. So, not cheap, but damn, you're getting a decent bit of kit. Thank you very much for checking out our full review of the Mountain Everest 60, 60% 60 gaming keyboard. If you did enjoy this video, please hit that like button, subscribe to keep up with the latest tech and gaming videos, and also let us know in the comments down below what you thought about the Everest 60. Is this something that you're genuinely interested in purchasing for yourself, or do you have one of the other Everest style keyboards already from Mountain? Let us know in the comments down below. As I say, thanks very much for watching, and we will see you in the next video.